boy below. Where's your gorgeous leader? Oh, hi, Max. Would you like to change that to greasy leader? Hey, girl, what are you doing under there? Where are all the hired hands? Oh, I gave him some time off. I was up to my scuffers listening to them fight among themselves. Fight? I thought they liked each other. But they adore each other. But uh, after all, they're women, and they are getting a little stir-crazy. I mean, when you've seen the inside of one Jeep, you've seen them all. <laughs> the uh, problems of command. The troops are fighting among themselves. Oh, it's no problem, Max. I solved it in my usual brilliant fashion. I simply sent them over to the PX. The PX? Well, there's nothing that boosts a woman's morale more than uh, some relaxed personal shopping. Hey, hey, get out of there! Come on! Knock it off! Now nobody gets them until you pipe down! <laughs> now that's more like it. Now girls, I realize that this is the last pair of stockings on a base, but let's settle this without bloodshed, okay? Thank you, sailor, for bringing us to our senses. Let's not forget we're Navy. Yeah, we ought to be ashamed fighting among ourselves over a measly pair of nylons, right, girls? Right. So I'll take them! Oh! <laughs> Officer, Adrian here. Execute Plan A. Clear the headquarters area. I want absolute silence maintained. Positively, no vehicular traffic till I give you the all clear. Over and out. All right, Beasley, this is H hour. Commander, be quiet. <laughs> Beasley, quiet. Gently, gently, gently. This is more valuable than the Norden bomb site. <laughs> Mission accomplished, sir. You need a grand souffle. <laughs> beautiful, 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 beautiful. I, I wish I could do this more often. <laughs> Only it takes too much out of me. <laughs> Any aircraft? The next plane that comes over here, shoot it down. <laughs> Those crazy pilots. That'll teach them to fly during lunch hour. <laughs> you may serve. Uh, Commander, there's a signal. Quiet, quiet, please. Please, 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 please. <laughs> you have Beasley to thank for saving your stripes. <laughs> Oh, uh, 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 please, sir, if, if I may suggest yeah. a, a transverse incision. Oh, good man. <laughs> sir, I'd like to apologize for what happened in the PX this morning. You see, my girls are having a morale problem. What about my morale, Lieutenant? Look what you've done. You've turned my beautiful souffle into a... Soggy pizza. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Now, about my girls' morale. I suggest that we let the girls give a show for the rest of the base. That would be a terrific shot in the arm for the waves. The only shot that I am interested in, Lieutenant, would come from a firing squad. Request denied. Commander! Please, Lieutenant, the commander is in shock. Let him mourn his souffle in peace. <laughs> Good brother. If I may say so, sir, uh, I think you blew one there. Comfleet is very concerned about the morale of the whole base here. Comfleet? That's what the signal is about, sir. In fact, they're sending the fleet morale officer down here Friday to investigate. 
Well, happy morale. <laughs> you know, sir, if you ask me, that comp plate is a bunch of nosy Parkers. <laughs> what have I done to deserve this? Investigators, the brass, whining about the men's morale. This time I can't even blame it on the waves. <laughs> or can I? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Beasley. Therein lies the solution to the whole problem. Uh, what is it? You heard what Lieutenant Morgan said, didn't you? The, the girl's morale is already very low. Well, if we destroy it completely, then Comfleet will think they're the root of the entire problem. Oh, no, sir. But, uh, but how do you destroy a woman's morale? Oh, we don't. We let them destroy each other's. A Miss Radikai contest? Yes, that's right, that's right. Actually, you uh, springboarded the idea with your suggestion to put on a show. <laughs> I merely added the popularity contest. You see, the men will all vote for their favorite wave with your show as the grand finale. <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful, sir. Girls, we're in show business. Great. Oh, well, it's all settled then. Showtime Friday night. Now, the motor pool is hereby relieved from duty, so you ladies can start your campaigns for votes. <laughs> Good luck, Miss Ranakai. Whoever you are. Well, you heard what the man said. Lovey, you're in show business again. How does it feel to be back at the old grind? Oh, I don't do them anymore. I just dance. <laughs> Showtime tomorrow night, I want to see each and every one of you big, strong, beautiful men vote for me for Miss Ranakai. Are you with me? Yeah! That a way to go, fellas. And as Selma's campaign manager, I'm even going to sweeten the pot. Here's some candy kisses. And if she does win, you can all trade them in for the real thing. Are you kidding, Botnick? Who needs promises when the opposition is already puckered up? Right now. See what I mean, you guys? Yeah! <laughs> Hurry, 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 hurry! Now, 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 don't be shy, guys. Uh, all that you have to do is, is, is promise to vote for my candidate and, and voila, Paola! <laughs> okay, who's next? Uh, 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 now, uh, now, uh, now, remember, there is only one to a customer. No, 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 I didn't mean, I meant customer. Only, only one to a customer. <laughs> Now you get the idea, guys? Yeah. Uh, now, now, listen, I, oh, listen, I don't uh, want any of you to take advantage. I mean, you, I mean you're just going to have to uh, uh, control yourself, because uh, after all, there is plenty to go around. Broke <laughs> <laughs> crazy sailors. Up, 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 up. You're pushing, Chester, you're pushing. Yes, sir, but... It's killing me, having to watch the girl of my dreams. Why did I volunteer to be her campaign manager anyway? Why? Because I ordered you to. Oh. <laughs> oh. But cheer up. Soon I may have to order you to be a referee. Oh, a dirty... I've got a good mind to tear out those blonde curls by their black roots. Well, I wouldn't blame you. I never thought she'd sink so low to win a crummy election. Yeah, and you know the worst thing about it? What? She thought of it before we did. Come along, my boy. Now that the seeds have been planted, it's time to see that they grow. <laughs> well, well, how... Uh, now, how is the Miss Ranakai contest coming along? Oh, fine, sir, fine. I think uh, everybody on the base is excited about it. Good, good. Oh, well, every, everybody except for one poor forgotten soul. What? What's that one? Frankly, Lieutenant, I am disappointed in you. I've never seen such a flagrant example of favoritism. Favoritism? I, I'm afraid I don't follow you, sir. Well, you, you encourage Kowalski and Love to go all out, but what of poor Miss McGuire? What is she doing? For shame, Lieutenant Morgan, for shame. <laughs> I mean, that poor girl should be out campaigning with the others. But it's not my fault. It's McGuire. She's shy. She's, she's just not the campaigning type. Well, Lieutenant, let me leave you with this thought. What good does it do to raise the morale of the entire base if you leave one forlorn, shattered soul Crushed and humiliated. <laughs> I hope till showtime then. Come on. Baby. <laughs>
Don't let him get you down, Ann. You're doing the best you can. Mm, that's not good enough, Mac. If McGuire won't get out and start campaigning, then I've got to start the bandwagon rolling myself. So I'm asking you now, go out and storm those ballot boxes. Secure the beachhead for the girl any one of you would be proud to take home to mother. My candidate for Miss Radekai, Molly McGuire. <laughs> Honestly, girls, I, I don't know how to break it to you. I just don't. Begging your pardon, sir, but you just don't make any sense. Do you mean to tell me that you haven't heard a rumor? You haven't had an inkling about what Lieutenant Morgan is doing? I don't dig you. An it... inkling of what, sir? Well, she's been a... doing anything to us. Oh, no, no, no. Just, just look at that. Who does the Navy call on when they want to get the job done? <laughs> I mean, I am sorry to have to be the one to break it to you, girls, but you just had to find out sooner or later. Find out what? <laughs> You just saw it there with your own eyes. She's campaigning. So what? There's no harm in helping to get out the vote. For herself? <laughs> but she's not even in the contest. And even if she were, she'd never do a thing like that behind our backs. I don't think. No, the skipper wouldn't double-cross us in a million years. <clears throat> I don't think you're going to have to wait nearly that long. my case. <laughs> oh! Hi, girls. How goes the campaigning? You ought to know, Lieutenant, ma'am. What does that mean? Oh, nothing, Lieutenant. Only we never thought you'd do a thing like that to us. A thing like what? Well, when your own commanding officer has to pull rank on you to win a contest that she isn't even supposed to enter in the first place, then it's I going to be a pretty chicken outfit. Let's cut out, girls. <laughs> well, wait a minute. I don't get it, Ann. What was that about you being in the contest? Well, I don't know. Unless somebody saw me campaigning for Molly and twisted it to suit his own purposes. Oh, you mean someone like our noble leader? I thought there was something fishy when he started needling me about letting Molly down. He knew I'd do something about it. No problem. We'll just tell the girls that we were campaigning for Molly. What, and have Selma and Lovey on my back? I never thought of that. The old divide and conquer bit. He's got you either way. Unless the girls could learn the truth from the Joker who twisted it in the first place. Oh, come on, Ann. You don't expect Adrian to admit anything, do you? I didn't mean him. There's only one Joker in Adrian's stack deck. Beasley. <laughs> It was nice of you to drive me to the airstrip. I guess you're the only friend I've got left in the world. But why are you leaping like this? I mean, you haven't even been shipped out yet. What else can I do? I mean, after all, my my girls are speaking to me. And, uh, excuse me, I have to get a hanky. Uh, uh, please, uh, control yourself. I, I, I mean, there's, there's, there's no point in, uh, in, in getting emotional. You don't know what it's like to be unwanted, unloved. Oh, oh, oh please, uh, Lieutenant, don't, don't cry. I, I, I mean, I, 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 can't, I can't stand to see anybody cry. I, I mean, uh, I, I, mean I, I, I get all sh shook up. I, see, I, I get all, all emotionally in, 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 involved. I, I mean, I, mean, I, I, I want my hanky back. I didn't mean to drag you into this. I mean, after all, it, it isn't your fault. But it is. I want it. You all, you know, mad at each other, and and, and then when when the fleet fleet morale officer came, he he, he would then blame you for everything. <laughs> morale officer, if you be here for the show tomorrow, isn't that? 
that the meanest thing you ever heard? Sure is. I mean, it's terrible. Uh, if you excuse me, I, I, I gotta go someplace and have a, a good cry. <laughs> Cry baby to nursery. Cry baby to nursery. Any questions? Gee, we're awfully sorry, Skipper. Yeah, we should have known better. Boy, were we dopes. Yeah, well, so much for makeup time. Uh, what about the fleet morale officer? Don't give it a second thought, Max. Come showtime, that morale officer's gonna see the happiest amateur night in the South Pacific. And there's nothing Jolly Roger can do to change that now. <laughs> I won't talk. No matter what you do to me, I won't talk. Go ahead. Beat me with the rubber hose. I haven't got a rubber hose, but if you don't start talking, I'm going to work you over with this desk lamp. I won't crack. I, I, I may be a cad, but I am uncrackable. <laughs> Oh, you crack all right. Look at you. You're sweating, aren't you? Your lips are parched and dry. Your tongue is like a ball of cotton. You are desperate for a long, cool drink, aren't you? Well, I could use a Shirley Temple right about now. <laughs> what did you do to Lieutenant Morgan? If you don't tell me, I am going to write your mother you know what? Oh, no, sir. Oh, 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 oh don't do that. You, you, you wouldn't. It, it would break her heart to know that I was still biting my fingernails. <laughs> oh, what did you tell Lieutenant Morgan? Everything! Everything! You mean you blabbed the whole plot! Oh, yes, sir. I mean, when I crack, I really slop over. <laughs> oh, no, sir. Oh, sir, you, you, you wouldn't tell my mother. Oh, you, no, no, sir. You, 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 you wouldn't. Uh, uh, sir, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do anything. Uh, anything! <laughs> Very well, Chester. I am not a hard man. Chester. Chester. <laughs> I'm going to give you one last chance. Tomorrow night, when that show goes on, you will personally see that everything is booby-trapped. Yes, sir. I will. I, I, I will. I'm... This is your last chance, boy. Don't muff it. No, sir. No, sir, I, I, I won't. I, I'll, I'll take care of everything, sir. And, and thank you, sir. Oh, uh, uh, could, could I have that Troy Temple right now? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> How's everything backstage? Do you suspect anything? Oh, no, 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 sir, sir. I see, I, I, I rigged the whole thing before they came. This is going to be the wildest show since I split my pants in the class play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, Captain Blackwell, welcome aboard, sir. Commander? Lieutenant Trotter told me I made it just in time for your little entertainment. Oh, yeah. now, if you'll excuse me, sir, I'd like to go backstage and wish the girls good luck. Of course, Lieutenant. Yes, that's it. Uh, Frankly, Adrian, I was glad to hear you're doing something about the morale problem here. Oh, that he is, sir. Our C Commander Adrian is going all out. He he's even acting as master of ceremonies tonight. <laughs> as a, yeah, 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 well, not that I have any theatrical aspirations, Captain. <laughs> but it's the one thing the waves would agree on. Perhaps it'll keep the peace, at least for tonight, eh? <laughs> what do you mean, Adrian? Well, they're women, Captain, and you know women. Oh, petty jealousies fighting between themselves. Bicker, bicker, bicker. It is spreading to the men. Yes, sir, I'm afraid that uh, the waves are the root of our entire morale problem here. <laughs> that is that. Yeah, yes, it is. I don't want to influence you about it unduly now, sir. We'll talk about it after the show. <laughs> You've got a great house, girls. Captain Blackwell's sitting right in the front row. Well, it looks like we're all set. You ready, girls? Skipper, I was just thinking, instead of doing my regular number, maybe I could do a boogie arrangement of Anchors Away. I could fake it real good. No, no, no. I want you girls to do your acts exactly as rehearsed. No switches. I don't want to throw the audience any curves. But, uh, Lieutenant, that's my whole act. <laughs> Where is it? I can't find it. The sand for my sand dance. Oh, here it is, Molly. Oh, here, you better let me do it. You're so shaky, you couldn't even hit the floor. <laughs> Quiet, quiet. Looks like it's showtime. There is the Navy's George Jessel. Good evening. And welcome aboard to the finals of the Miss Ranakai contest. Now, 
Our beloved waves have prepared a great little show to compete for your votes. Which reminds me of a rather whimsical little anecdote about the sailor who missed his wife. <laughs> but he got her with a second shot. <laughs> well, um, uh, now that you are all uh, warmed up, on with the show. Uh, the first contestant is Machinist Mate, Molly McGuire. Uh, so, uh, music maestro, please! That's my cue. I can't face him, Skipper. I'm scared. Relax, honey. You'll be great. Go, girl, go. Take Pratt Falls. I've got talent. <laughs> well, that's one down and uh, uh, two to go. I, I, or that is, I'm sure we all sympathize with uh, Miss McGuire. But the show must go on. <laughs> Our next contestant will be that former queen of the runways, Miss Roberta. Uh, uh, Roberta Love. <laughs> Again, Max. Adrian's rigged this thing from the beginning. And this time he got you where it hurts, right in the finale. How are you going to alibi this to the morale officer? Never mind the questions. What I need now is an answer. say is that's the funniest show I've ever seen. Uh, oh, well, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, we knew we couldn't compete with Betty Grable and Alice Faye and all the other glamour girls they have in the base movies, so uh, we decided to play it for laughs. This doesn't boost morale on Rannick. I don't know what will. Uh, right, Adrian? Oh, yeah, if you say so, sir. Don't be modest, Adrian. You certainly did your share. The fall you took, uh, the curtain falling on you. Funny, funny. <laughs> Incision. Oh. 
Good man. <laughs> apologize for what happened in the PX this morning. You see, my girls are having a morale problem. What about my morale, Lieutenant? Look what you've done. You've turned my beautiful souffle into a soggy pizza. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Now, about my girls' morale, I suggest that we let the girls give a show for the rest of the base. That would be a terrific shot in the arm for the waves. The only shot that I am interested in, Lieutenant, would come from a firing squad. Request denied. <laughs> Commander! Please, Lieutenant, the Commander is in shock. Will you let him mourn his souffle in peace? <laughs> oh, brother. If I may say so, sir, uh, I think you blew one there. Comfleet is very concerned about the morale of the whole base here. Comfleet? That's what the signal is about, sir. In fact, they're sending the fleet morale officer down here Friday to investigate. Well, happy morale. <laughs> you know, sir, if you ask me, that Comfleet is a bunch of nosy parkers. <laughs> what have I done to deserve this? Investigators, the brass, whining about the men's morale. This time, I can't even blame it on the waves. <laughs> or can I? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Beasley. Therein lies the solution to the whole problem. Uh, what is it? You heard what Lieutenant Morgan said, didn't you? The, the girl's morale is already very low. Well, if we destroy it completely, then Comfleet will think they're the root of the entire problem. Oh, no, sir. <laughs> but, uh, but how do you destroy a woman's morale? Oh, we don't. We let them destroy each other's. A Miss Radikai contest? Yes, that's right, that's right. Actually, you uh, springboarded the idea with your suggestion to put on a show. <laughs> I merely added the popularity contest. You see, the men will all vote for their favorite wave with your show as the grand finale. <gasps> Oh, that's wonderful, sir. Girls, we're in show business. Great. Oh, well, it's all settled then. Showtime Friday night. Now, the motor pool is hereby relieved from duty, so you ladies can start your campaigns for votes. <laughs> Good luck, Miss Ranakai. Whoever you are. Well, you heard what the man said. Lovey, you're in show business again. How does it feel to be back at the old grind? Oh, I don't do them anymore. I just dance. <laughs> Showtime tomorrow night, I want to see each and every one of you big, strong, beautiful men vote for me for Miss Ranakai. Are you with me? Yeah! That a way to go, fellas. And as Selma's campaign manager, I'm even going to sweeten the pot. Here's some candy kisses. And if she does win, you can all trade them in for the real thing. Are you kidding, Botnick? Who needs promises when the opposition is already puckered up? Right now. See what I mean, you guys? Yeah! <laughs> Hurry, 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 hurry! Now, 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 don't be shy, guys. Uh, all that you have to do is, is, is promise to vote for my candidate and, and voila, Paola! <laughs> okay, who's next? Uh, 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 now, uh, now, uh, now, remember, there is only one to a customer. No, 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 I didn't mean, I meant customer. Only, only one to a customer. <laughs> Now you get the idea, guys? Yeah. Uh, now, now, listen, I, oh, listen, I don't uh, want any of you to take advantage. I mean, you, I mean you're just going to have to uh, uh, control yourself, because uh, after all, there is plenty to go around. Broke <laughs> <laughs> crazy sailors. Up, 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 up. You're pushing, Chester, you're pushing. Yes, sir, but... It's killing me, having to watch the girl of my dreams. Why did I volunteer to be her campaign manager anyway? Ahoy below. <laughs> Where's your gorgeous leader? Would you like to change that to Greasy Leader? Hey, girl, what are you doing under there? Where are all the hired hands? Oh, I gave him some time off. I was up to my scuffers listening to them fight among themselves. Fight? I thought they liked each other. But they adore each other. But uh, after all, they're women, and 
they are getting a little stir crazy. I mean, when you've seen the inside of one Jeep, you've seen them all. <laughs> See, the uh, problems of command, the troops are fighting among themselves. Oh, it's no problem, Max. I solved it in my usual brilliant fashion. I simply sent them over the PX. The PX? Well, there's nothing that boosts a woman's morale more than uh, some relaxed personal shopping. Hey, hey, get out of there! Come, come on! on. Please. Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. Now, that's more like it. Now, girls, I realize that this is the last pair of stockings on a base, but let's settle this without bloodshed, okay? Thank you, sailor, for bringing us to our senses. Let's not forget we're Navy. We ought to be ashamed fighting among ourselves over a measly pair of nylons, right, girls? Right. So I'll take them. Oh! <laughs> Because I ordered you to. Oh. <laughs> but cheer up. Soon I may have to order you to be a referee. Oh, a dirty... I've got a good mind to tear out those blonde curls by their black roots. Well, I wouldn't blame you. I never thought she'd sink so low to win a crummy election. Yeah, and you know the worst thing about it? What? She thought of it before we did. <laughs> Come along, my boy. Now that the seeds have been planted, it's time to see that they grow. <laughs> well, well, how, uh, how is the Miss Ranakai contest coming along? Oh, fine, sir, fine. I think uh, everybody on the base is excited about it. Good, good. Oh, well, er everybody except for one poor forgotten soul. What? What's that one? Frankly, Lieutenant, I am disappointed in you. I've never seen such a flagrant example of favoritism. Favoritism? I, I'm afraid I don't follow you, sir. Well, you, you encourage Kowalski and Love to go all out, but what of poor Miss McGuire? What is she doing? For shame, Lieutenant Morgan, for shame. <laughs> I mean, that poor girl should be out campaigning with the others. But it's not my fault. It's McGuire. She's shy. She's, she's just not the campaigning type. Well, Lieutenant, let me leave you with this thought. What good does it do to raise the morale of the entire base if you leave one forlorn, shattered soul crushed and humiliated? <laughs> I hope till showtime, then. Come on. Baby. Don't let him get you down, Anne. You're doing the best you can. Mm, that's not good enough, Mac. If McGuire won't get out and start campaigning, then... I've got to start the bandwagon rolling myself. So I'm asking you now, go out and storm those ballot boxes. Security officer, Adrian here. Execute plan A. Clear the headquarters area. I want absolute silence maintained. Positively, no vehicular traffic till I give you the all clear. Over and out. All right, Beasley, this is H hour. Commander, be quiet. <laughs> Beasley, quiet. Gently, gently, gently. This is more valuable than the Norden bomb site. <laughs> Mission accomplished, sir. You need a grand souffle. <laughs> beautiful, 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 beautiful. I, I wish I could do this more often. <laughs> Only it takes too much out of me. Out of here! 
cracked. The next plane that comes over here, shoot it down. <laughs> Those crazy pilots. That'll teach them to fly during lunch hour. <laughs> you may serve. Uh, Commander, there's a signal. Oh, oh, please, oh, please, please, please. <laughs> You have Beasley to thank for saving your stripes. Oh, 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 oh please, sir, if, if I may suggest a, a transverse 